Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tay. If you're new here, welcome. The future Davises have just put up their Christmas tree because it is Winterfest Eve. Tomorrow Tay and Dawn's family will come over to celebrate the holiday and I'm really excited to see how the families mesh together. I have Tay and Dawn here making some holiday cookies because Father Winter is coming tonight. Love to see it. Dawn is actually helping me out in the kitchen. It's a holiday so he's like, yeah, I will help you out to make these cookies he's like uh-huh that's two dashes of sugar some cinnamon <laughs> she's like boy i'm already done and loki y'all father winter is here look at him sitting at the table over there this man got here and he was like the cookies ain't ready <laughs> where the cookies at <laughs> this man went in my fridge and he took um a plate that i made for dinner and he gonna eat that. And now he's sitting here at the table waiting for some cookies too. Like, okay, it's the greediness for me. People are starving. People are dying, St. Nicholas. Anyways, me and Don are just over here at the oven like, yes, master, <laughs> making your cookies. <laughs> okay, they look so good. Now, how cute are these Christmas trees? They're so freaking cute. Tastes like serving him. Here you go, master. <laughs> All right, we all just about to eat a cookie. How many cookies are in here? Is this just one plate? Okay, I was about to say. Oh, I think it's only four cookies. I don't even know. Take out her cookie. Uh uh. Sir, when was the last time you ate? He acted like he didn't just eat a full protein meal, like twenty grams of protein in one plate, and he. Uh uh. <laughs> we need to ask him for a present. He said it was good. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I thought he was about to throw up. It looked like he was gagging for a second. I have been such a good girl this year. Gimme, gimme, gimme my present. What did we get? Oh, we got a tea brewer. I mean, I guess. I don't really drink tea. I kind of hate it, actually. Did you attach the gift receipt? Don was like, uh-oh, -uh, he giving out brewers? Mm-mm, let me go to bed. No, Don, go get your gift. Oh, okay, Don, oh. ask for your present. Where's the thing for the present? Wait, why is St. Nick giving me... Oh, St. Nick, if you... And Don would show up right at this moment. He would. I'm so dead. Oh, my God. Uh-uh. <laughs> he said, I'm trying to eat more than just a cookie. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, and not a saying take selfie with a fan. Not St. Nicholas being one of Dawn's fans. I'm so joked. <laughs> I can't even ask him for a gift either. So that just means I'm about to whoop his ass because why was he flirting with my woman? <laughs> why? I'm about to hold, hold my foot up your ass. <laughs> Bitch. Oh my God, that was so much blood. Oh, night night. <laughs> He was only here for like five minutes and there was just absolute chaos. Like, <laughs> why am I like this? I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I feel bad that I just knocked out Father Winter in my kitchen. Can I ask for a gift? Still not there. Okay, well, um, wake up, please. I'm gonna need you to get the hell up out of my house. <laughs> he asked so respectfully. Um, Father Winter. Do you mind scurrying out of here? <laughs> I hope Rudolph and the elves will be, you know, cool taking the route <laughs> by themselves because I don't think he gonna make it tonight. Okay, he up. Thank you. Please leave. Thank you. See you later. Wait, the front door was that way, sir. Where did he go? Oh, I think he went up the chimney. Y'all, he went up the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't even have like the little part that the smoke comes out of so he just like i don't know time traveled there what is it called teleported there <laughs> well um look tay was like already thinking oh don why was he doing all that it was just father winter like what am i gonna do with father winter but yeah i'm gonna send them both to bed now and then um i'll see you guys in the morning good morning and happy winter fest I have these two changed into their holiday onesies because I want everyone to come over today and everyone wear PJs, just Christmas jammies. That sounds so fun. All right, it looks like Penelope is already awake and she's very, very hungry. So I'm gonna have Tay wake up here. 
She's like, good morning, babe. Happy Winterfest. <laughs> good thing we already got our gifts downstairs because um, Father Winter is out of commission. How cute are these holiday onesies? I you love them have. so much. Tay is so energized this morning. Oh, Penelope, why are you so cranky this morning? Oh my gosh, she's so hangry, but I'm trying to feed you. Let me feed you. I'm trying to, babe. She's trying to soothe her. She's like, come on, babe. You got it, P. Do you want real food or do you want this titty? Which one do you want? Okay, because she loves <laughs> breast milk. That's her favorite type of like feeding. She doesn't want a bottle. So it's going to be really hard to wean her off. And you guys, look at the sunrise. Oh my goodness. It looks so gorgeous out there. Oh, the beautiful sun. Okay, so Don just woke up and this reminded me. Um, tell me why he got this want of he wants to have a child. I went ahead and pinned it because I'm like, okay, <laughs> you want to have another baby with me? <laughs> but um, I'm not trying to have a baby right now. Obviously, we're planning a wedding. But after the wedding, you know, on that honeymoon, hey, hey, we might be having another baby. <laughs> I'm happy. Tay is done feeding Penelope. I'm just going to bring her down here because I want the family to start coming over soon around breakfast time. Um, so Penelope's just gonna be all up in the mix. Oh, and also I want to change her outfit so she can match us. Unfortunately, there was not a matching outfit for infants, but I made it work, okay? And she looks cute. Let's have take him over here to make a grand meal and we're gonna have the grand breakfast. And since Don is addicted to caffeine, I'm just gonna go ahead and make him a coffee. Let's get an espresso. Uh-uh, why is he holding the, this cup with so much elegance? Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> if you hold it longer than 30 seconds, you're no longer a man, so. <laughs> Tate is here putting her foot in this breakfast for everyone. Oh. Oh, oh Don, uh, that was so cute. Uh, but Don's on his phone like, okay, the food is almost here. Where y'all at? Y'all better be on your way because it's going to get cold. All right, so my mom has got here. I'm waiting for everyone to get here. She just hopped on my computer. Like, I need to change my computer <laughs> security settings. But um, I'm going to have Don talk to her. Don's like, happy holidays, Miss Taylor. She's like, oh, happy holidays to you, too. Oh, Dante is here, too. Dante, why are you being weird with my baby? <laughs> oh, and you guys remember how Dante asked if he should ask B Satterfield out? Well, this is her. Her name is Bianca, but she goes by B. And uh, we're going to get to know her today on this winter fest okay i'm gonna have dante come over here and give her a little hug look at tay over there she already got herself a plate uh-uh not donna popping her some popcorn oh, <laughs> but dante's hell. like hey oh, b <laughs> and look at tay coming over she's like and hey, who is this that you invited into my home without asking permission i'll just greet her with a hug to she's that. like hello oh. so i heard so much about you so Ooh, Tay doesn't like her. She appears to be a little bit in their own bubble of imagination in a dreamland of sorts. What is that like supposed to mean? Like she's just very um delusional. <laughs> That's funny. That just means she is not going to see the red flags with Dante. So <laughs> she is perfect for him. And Claude is actually here. We're still waiting for Genesis, Ezekiel, and baby Liza. But um, I'm just going to share the holiday spirit with him. I do actually want to talk to Angelique though. I want to get a little time alone with her because I really want to ask for her blessing for, you know, the wedding. Um, I don't want to do it with Claude right here, but I want to just like get some time today to talk to her about it. Oh, look at Naomi's here. She picked up Penelope. She's like, Merry Christmas, Penelope. Okay, I'm going to try to get to know Bianca a little bit. Or let me call her B because that's what she likes to go by. But I just feel like B is such a silly name with the two E's on there. <laughs> it's so silly. She's a perfectionist. That's kind of cool. So am I a little bit. Oh, this is so cute because look, Penelope was crying and fussing and Donna picked her up and like, oh, this is so adorable. Oh, this is so cute. I'm gonna have Penelope blow her little kiss. I've never done this before, so I wanna see what it's like. I didn't even know my baby knew how to blow kisses. She just be learning new stuff every day. Oh, 
Tay, yeah, you just got your go. big old booty in the oh, camera. Penelope, are you gonna blow this kiss or what? No. Oh, look at her down there. Okay, I'm looking around. Genesis, Ezekiel, and baby Liza are still not here. I am not sure what's taking them so long to get here, but honestly, I feel like Genesis just couldn't get her eyeliner right or something, and her eyelash was just falling off at the edge. She couldn't get the glue to stick. She's over there using hair glue at this point because the eyelash glue isn't working out, and um, we're just about to eat without them. Look at Tay. She already got herself a plate. <laughs> She was over here picking out the food, but like the food is cold at this point. We're about to eat y'all. <laughs> All right, I'm getting everybody to come over to the table. Ooh, look at a, a truck. Is that my package coming in the mail? Cause I did order a few things. <laughs> Chad Strasa, oh, oh, okay. Last person, my mama. Yay, let's all grab a plate. All right, y'all, let's get a plate. Oh, and Dante had to stand up. Okay. And Donna had to stand up. Okay. Oh, but they're just having like a really nice uh, breakfast. I love this. A little holiday breakfast. You already know they did some musical chairs, but Donna's is like, thank you so much for coming out today. I'm so glad that you could make it. And look at Donna over there jealous. She's like, you didn't tell me. Thank you for making it out tonight. <laughs> but you guys, my mom does not know Don's mom. So I need to have them introduce each other. Um, why is the option snooty introduction there for my mom? Like one of the first options options uh-uh i will do a hug lovingly introduction for her she's oh, like oh God. our kids never officially you know oh, introduce us to each other bad. but nice to meet okay. you my mom thought that donna was admirable okay that's saying a lot for my mom um because what on first meeting them the sim appears to angelique as a much admirable individual and Donna thought that my mom was strong-minded. The Sim has a very confident, empowered vibe, be it real or just a facade. I'm dead because of all of the Bible scriptures that she'd be whipping out her pocket <laughs> left and right. Okay, I get it. I definitely feel like Donna is a wannabe Christian. Like she pretends to go to church and things like that, but you'll only catch her there on the very, you know, eventful days like Easter and Christmas and Thanksgiving and things like that. But she ain't ever there. And she can't tell you, anything about the bible like she pretends like she reads it but she really don't she don't know anything and my mom you know she could tell you any scripture front to back but you know at the end of the day she doesn't really practice what she preaches type of thing i'm gonna have my mom get to know her a little bit let's see if her first impression changes does she still think she's like an admirable individual or can you see through her bon and gravy mm -hmm. Oh, yes. oh, You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. I hope you feel that way about me too. I'm so dead. They're getting along. They're like best friends. Honestly, I'm here for this because like who wants drama between the mother-in-laws? But also I'm kind of like... This is so crazy. My mom like really doesn't have any friends. She's kind of like a loner. And she meets Donna who is like a complete bitch honestly and she's just right off the bat like besties with her what does that say about my mom <laughs> oh my god now y'all see why we didn't talk for a year okay okay where did don go don over here playing mortal Kombat. he's like come on i'm ready to open some gifts okay we're, we're about to open the gifts don all right christmas morning let's open some presents everyone Oh, and we got to pay our loan payment for that private jet. Ooh, I hope somebody uh, gave me a gift of that loan payment. <laughs> oh, Tay just got a present. Oh, so cute. Tay did not like her present. Donna over here about to break her back. Look at Dante like, I know you didn't give me that present. You know, I do not want that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks like Tay got two $50 Visa gift cards. And oh, also Don. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Don got two $50 Visa gift cards as well. He also got a PlayStation 4. I'm gonna pretend like it's a PlayStation 5, okay? He got a PlayStation 5 because we are not getting the last gen, okay? How come uh Don got two presents? Why did my mama gift him a PS4? 
And Donna, where is my present? Oh, this is so cute, though. Everyone's, like, so excited about their presents. Don's like, yay! I love my PS5! Thank you, Mama! Oh, Tay's taking a little Instagram picture. She's so cute! All right, all the presents have been opened. I'm so happy. This was such a fun Christmas. And you know Don is excited because he got this PS5. So he's like, oh, can I play with my toys now? I want to go play. Everybody, you want to play with PS5? <laughs> Ooh, let's do The Last of Us. And we'll just play with Dante and um, Claude. Oh, Dante's like, oh my God, you got a PS5? Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Like, this is everything. I watched The Last of Us, the TV show, and now I'm like obsessed with it. Like, if I was a gamer, I would definitely be playing the video game right now. And all the girls are just over here talking. Oh, even Donna and B, they're like getting along really well. Oh my God, I think Naomi just got a sentiment with her mom. This is actually such a wonderful Christmas. Like, I am so happy. Give Winterfest gifts. Ooh, let me give my sister a little something something. I have a few of these body cares. I'm gonna give, um, you know what? I'm gonna give one to all of the girls. I'll give her the coconut hibiscus. I am low key re-gifting a gift, but it's okay. Oh, wow. I forgot that I am actually mm, Angelique. Wow. <laughs> okay, I thought I was Tay, but that's fine. Naomi, you got a gift. <laughs> All right, go ahead and um, give one to Tay. Why does it have the little MC Command Center logo? Uh, I'll give her the cherry. No, I want the sugar and vanilla. She's like, Merry Christmas. Here's a present. Oh, and tastes like my favorite. You know I love vanilla. Oh, and this is so amazing because like, if you can see over here on this little picture, this is Tay and Dawn's first Christmas. The picture is old and crusty, but as you can see, their first Christmas was like alone. It was just, you know, Tay, Dawn, Donna, and Dante. She didn't have her mom. She didn't have her sister. She didn't have Dawn's extended family. She had so many issues going on with her family. So I'm so freaking glad that she's having a good time today. Like, I'm so happy for her. No, because after I say this, why is <laughs> Naomi thinking about how she doesn't like me? Oh, I can't stand my sister. I'm gonna sing with my mom about Winterfest because I've been working on my singing skill for this wedding. You know, <laughs> karaoke about to go hard. Okay. Uh huh. My mom was like, oh, you're getting better, period. <laughs> Oh, it looks like the guys have finished their game and never mind. Claus said he, he go for round two, but I guess they are just watching. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is actually really sad. Why did Genesis walk here? Her and all the kids walked here because she's so batshit drunk and she couldn't even drive. I mean, we love a selfless queen, but like, hello? This is becoming a problem, ma'am. Like, this is not okay. Uh, she finally made it to the front door. Um, I got Liza here. Uh, I'm just gonna put her down here with Penelope so they can chit chat. No, because why is she balling up her fist? Uh, no. She's mad. She walked in. She's like, there's a disliked sim nearby. See, she's self-conscious. I told you her eyelashes weren't sticking. And she's drunk, obviously. She's drunk. Tay's yeah. like, hey, Super welcome cool. in. Oh, do you, yeah. why do you smell like liquor? No, because this is crazy. All of my hard work paid off because I have a pristine reputation. Okay, like we didn't just, oh, uh, <laughs> whoop St. Nicholas's tail this <laughs> this morning or last night, whatever. Um, Period. We love that for us. They just don't know how crazy she is. <laughs> Look at her brushing her teeth. Uh, she's like, oh, she could smell the liquor on my breath. Let me go ahead and brush them. That is crazy. You know, my mom doesn't know her either, so I'm gonna do a greeting and I will hug her lovingly. And you know, Penelope crawls when she feels like it. She's on her way to go talk to her best friend, <laughs> um, Liza in the little carrier there. Dawn, why are you doing push-ups? Oh, okay, but let's see. What did my mom think about her? I don't know. She is like laughing so hard though. <gasps> what? Y'all, no. Stop! This is insane. Y'all. What? I'm mad. I'm so mad right now. No. This, this, no. 
No, I just got my relationship back with my mom. This is insane. Oh my gosh, no. This is crazy. On Christmas? On Christmas. This is not real life right now. Like, I am really contemplating cheating this right now because this is not, this is, no, this is not okay. Look at Tay, she's like, heart, stop. I, this is my first time dealing with death in the game. I don't know how to, how to process this. And like my mom had to be so dramatic with it. The way she felt on the ground, like, <laughs> come on from laughing. Like I could get it if it was a heart attack or something, but laughing, like why does she have to go out the goofiest way? <laughs> like I've experienced death in this Sims, obviously, but like not with my, like this family, like my Sims house family. Like this is the first death we've experienced and I don't want it to be my mom. Like I, uh, I don't even know what to do. I have so many plans for this episode, but crazy stuff just keep... Hey, what? Stop. Stop laughing. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, man. What is going on, y'all? There's no way. There's no way. They're about to be... No. They're about to be resurrected because not two in one. They we, did we got a two in one special. I'm not... <laughs> No. Tay fears death too much to plead with the Grim Reaper. Oh my God. Okay, Don, please. Please, please, Don, save us. Don, I am begging you. You're a celebrity. Please save my mama's life right now. Please, death, give us a Christmas miracle. Please. He said, hell no. Nah. I, I don't even care right now. He's a goody two shoes. Yes, he could be good. Whatever. Did he did he save my mama life? <gasps> no, she's truly gone after Don's appeal fell through on Death's ears. No. No. Honestly, y'all, I really don't even know what to do right now. Like, first of all, this has ruined the entire episode. Second of all, this has ruined all of my plans for this episode. Third of all, like... <laughs> How am I gonna be planning a wedding during a grieving process? Like that, that doesn't even sound fun. And I am so dumb because I had a freaking death flower and doesn't that save them automatically? Why the hell did I try to have Dawn like strike up some courage to talk to the Grim Reaper? Like he could just uh, riz him up <laughs> and save my mama's life when I could have just given him a death flower. Oh, I am so upset. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. It's time for her. It's time for her, Jennifer. She's dead. Guess what? She's dead. <laughs> Just rub it in my face, why don't you? Oh my god. No. R.I.P. Well, we did get some inheritance, but I don't want my mama money. No. And then all of her animals were adopted. Oh. <gasps> No, who the hell is the sharp household? Oh my God. Uh, I guess, you know, if I can't save my mom, I guess I could save Claude. <laughs> Tay, please stop crying and save Claude. And look at Penelope, oblivious to it all. I'm so glad she's this young. Hopefully this doesn't traumatize her for life. Please save my uncle's life or my uncle-in-law. Oh my God, we did save his life. Um, I really wish that I could have given that to my mom. Oh, I really don't want my mom to be gone. Um, can I call forth her ghost, please? Please, please, let's call forth this ghost. Otherwise, we're gonna be planning a funeral. Okay, mama, you here. Uh, how do I get you to come back to life? Because this, I know this isn't very realistic. Don, this is not the time. I am trying to plan, look at, <laughs> she like, oh, Claude did too? Got him! <laughs> oh my god, y'all! My mom is so shook right now. She's like, what happened within the five minutes of me dying? <laughs> y'all, like, I thought long and hard about it. And I'm just like, I really don't like to cheat death in the game. But I feel like these deaths were so goofy. Like, okay, we could save Claude. I really wish I could have saved my mom instead. Like, I just wasn't thinking. I was just so stressed. So much was happening all at once. Um, well... This episode has taken a turn for events. Well, 
Well, we're about to plan a funeral. Don is really trying to comfort me, but this is this is not the way to do it. This is not the way to do it because why? Stop, please stop this. Everyone is scarred for life, even Pumpkin. Pumpkin's going through it, but he's bringing Claude back to life. Hallelujah. It's a Christmas miracle. My uncle is back alive and I wish it was my mom. You know, I have a strong hate for Claude right now that because he's alive and my mom, it, he just gonna sit and watch the TV. Like my mom isn't dead. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The amount of resentment I have in my heart for this man right now, is through the roof, through the roof. You better count your fucking days, Claude. Cause, ooh. And I feel so bad for my sister because her and my mom were still working on their relationships. Like things weren't perfect, but they were trying. And my mom just died. Like Naomi didn't get any closure. They didn't finish working on their issues. Like, oh my gosh, this is just like a sign for you to tell your loved ones how much <laughs> you love them, no matter what the circumstance is, because you never know when it's their last day. Like. They could die from laughter. Like, at this point, I'm just ready for everyone to leave. I don't want you here anymore. I don't want to control you. Don's like, oh my gosh, babe. I really did try. I'm so sorry. We're going to get through this together, though. And the same for my sister. Like, let me console my sister. Uh-uh, Don. This is not the time. Come on! Oh, and I forgot about B. She was just here to witness everything. Like, can you imagine meeting someone for the first time and then they just die in the living room? <laughs> Two hours later? What? And my sister, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, girl. We're gonna get through this together. Everyone as a family. But also, everyone, please get out of my house. <laughs> please go home. And of course, Tay has now gotten the uh, fear of death. So, I mean, death doesn't have to be scary, right? How do other Sims deal with death? Maybe the elderly or those ghosts that keep popping up have some advice. Or maybe the Grim Reaper would be in a good mood for a flower. Okay, so we have to click on a ghost or elderly Sim and discuss fears under the friendly category. I'm gonna have Dawn con console my sister. Why was the uh, express doubts about marriage thing popping up there? That just gonna piss me off. Don't play with me game. Cause you already played with me twice today. A third time and the series has ended. <laughs> oh, they got a sentiment together. All right, so I have this mod from A Deep Indigo, which is the final arrangements mod and it allows you to have like funeral services. So I'm gonna go ahead and schedule that for my mom. All right, so um, I did have to go ahead and plan some funeral services because Angelique did not want her body to be embalmed, so we needed to bury her as soon as possible. So Tay did go ahead and schedule this funeral as fast as possible. And now we are just listening to her little eulogy. Gosh, this is so sad. She's just like, my mother was a beautiful soul. Even though we spent the last year apart, there wasn't a moment that I wasn't thinking about her. And I cherish the time that I did spend with her. And Naomi is like the same girl, same. All right, so after Tay's eulogy, she's just sitting here. Everyone's just kind of in shock. The energy in the chapel is just all over the place. Tay's just gonna come outside and just take a walk. And what do you know? There's this beautiful wishing well here. I wonder if Tay tossed a coin and just begged that her mother be back once more just so she can do things right, would it actually work? Oh, my poor, poor girl. Just look at her. Stop, this is so sad. Oh, I really just miss my mom so much. That's what she's thinking. I whipped out her tombstone. I'm gonna call forth her ghost and see if we can just make that wish. Oh geez, that was the scariest noise ever. And she comes here, breaking her back. She's like, oh my gosh, Tay. Oh Lord, they're not doing her good in <laughs> heaven where she at. I'm gonna have Angelique consultate about her death because you know, death is a part of life and I know that she's really upset, but if this doesn't work, you know, this is a learning lesson and she'll be able to pass this knowledge on to Penelope when she grows up. 
She's like, oh, babe, I miss you so much. Oh, she's like, mom, I just really need you here. And she's like, no, you're strong. You can do this even if this doesn't work. All right, so I'm gonna have Angelique come here and it only costs one simoleon to wish for life. And let's see if we can do it. Oh, here she goes. Please, Angelique. Oh my gosh, is it working? <gasps> Just because Angelique is a ghost doesn't mean that she can't appreciate the value of a simoleon. And that one, <laughs> the one she threw, threw down there at the bottom of the creepy well appears to be wasted. <gasps> Not even a- Stop! <laughs> Not even a ghost would dare to lower themselves to retrieve it. I thought she was gonna be resurrected and I just hear Tay screaming. She was really like, this was my last shot. I thought this was gonna work and it didn't. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Naomi came outside to comfort Tay and I'm just hoping that this death will bring them even closer than before. And hopefully all of the animosity in their relationship can diminish because honestly, they need each other at this moment. And you guys, I'm so sorry that this episode, it was completely different than the usual vibe of this series. I am so sorry. I did not expect this to happen, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Or if you didn't enjoy it because <gasps> it was sad. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next. Bye.